Hey everyone, I hope you're all well. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you everything I picked up from Pretty Little Thing. Okay, so let's start off with what I'm wearing. Now, from looking at it, from where you're looking at it, looks good, right? Now, this is the reason why I don't usually go for ditzy, florally, cute, girly dresses, because they never seem to fit my shape. So let's start talking about the top. Now, the top half, I'd say fits. I mean, it does keep kind of slipping off my shoulder a little bit. It could do with some sticky uh, lining here, and then I think would be good. The arms itself are, you know, pretty roomy, pretty baggy. I did get this in a, what size did I get this in? So I got this in a 12, so yeah, I mean, I normally go for 12s in dresses, but um, this one is just not fitting me around my bottom half. So yeah, this is the top. So without wearing a bra, my boobs fit fine in the cups and on the arms, like I said, pretty okay, a bit long in the arms. If I'm being honest, if I'm being really picky. I love the print of it. I think, you know, it does suit me. But like I said, the bottom half is just... Mm -mm. Let me show you. Okay, so firstly, we do have a little slit going on here. But I mean, look how high it is. I mean, my hip is here. It's quite a high slit and I'm only five foot three. So just bear that in mind. And then it's just kind of really tight around my gut. Really like tight around, oh look, see, the shoulder bit's falling down. Really tight around my hips and it's just so short. Look how short it is. And obviously you've got the slit as well. It's just, I just don't like it. It's just really not me. It's not comfortable at all because it just absolutely hugs my little pouch that I got going on here. And yeah, I mean, no, it's just a big fat no from me. So yeah, I just don't really like the whole tightness around here. I just feel really restrictive and it just doesn't look flattering at all. So with this, I wouldn't even be able to size up because that would mean getting a 14 and then it would mean that probably around here would then be too big because I think the, the bust bit fits perfectly and around my waist as well and I think a 14 would just then be too big. So sometimes I just have to accept the fact that certain outfits just don't suit my shape and if you're similar to me then you're definitely not alone and this is why i'm here to show you that not all outfits fit all shapes you know even though there are size that you might get in another outfit it's just the way things are made and this is just something that i would never be able to wear because like i said if i get a 14 it will be then too big up here so Sometimes you just can't win. So this outfit is a prime example of what I was saying in the last outfit. So this is a 12 as well. This one fits. However, the annoying thing about this is, um, actually I'll show you in a minute. Talk about the top first. So it's another Dixie florally dress, but in black with little light pink um, flowers on it, which is really, really sweet. I love the neckline. I think it looks really kind of elegant and classy. It is a little bit big, I would say, but I, I don't have a bra on. So perhaps if I was to wear a padded bra, which I don't really wear because I don't want my boobs to be like you know, like that. I just don't really like that look anymore. So yeah, I don't know if the boob area would be, I guess it would, it looks fine actually, doesn't it? It doesn't look bad at all. The shoulders have a little bit of kind of a, a, a slight puffiness to it, which you can definitely see when looking at it. I think it looks really, really classy. And then the sleeves look like this. So they have little ruffle, like a little, what's this detailing called? You know, when it's like stretchy. Um, I can't think of it, but it has those on the ends. A little bit big, you know, you can see how it kind of slips down. It doesn't really go tight at the, at the wrist, but you know, we can live with that. And the waist is, I would say good. It's not, you know, really fitted, but there's definitely a bit of room. There is a little side zip here, which does help tighten it, but it's not like super fitted to my waist. But like I said, I can live with that. Now the only downside to this dress, which is really annoying because I absolutely love it, 
is the bottom half. Okay, so this is the bottom half of the dress. So it's quite kind of frilly. Right, my point is, so you've got an opening here. Now, I don't want to show you too much, but I mean, look how high that comes up. So if you're walking and it's very windy, you get a gust of wind. Oh my God, that's going to open very wide and you're going to get a full view of that area. So I don't know why they've made a dress that is kind of, you know, like splits that high up. Um, you know, look, look how this, this is the beginning of the split here. So you're going to, like I said, windy day, you're going to get a right view of your bits and bobs and it's just not really that's not really you know what I really want to worry about when I'm when I'm walking outside so that is a really downside to this dress um which is why I will be returning it I'm not going to keep it because I'm I'm going to be worried every time I go out there's going to be a gust of wind and everyone's going to see me knick knocks really sad about that because it is a really really pretty dress but you know unfortunately PLT have decided to make a slit that starts at your belly button. Okay, outfit number three. I really love this on the website, but there's something about it that I don't like. I don't know if it's the low collar situation. I can't put my finger on it, but basically it's a play suit, but it looks like a dress. I don't think I like it as much as I did on the, when I saw it on the website. This is the bottom half, so it's very kind of... Um, puffy but like I said it's a play suit so look you got but it kind of looks like a dress you know if you was to kind of look at it, it it looks like a dress but I don't know I don't <laughs> let me know what you think I'm not sure I love these style of dresses normally like play suits like the shirt kind of style but yeah there's uh something about it I'm not too sure. Okay, so this next outfit looks like something you would sleep in. It kind of looks like pyjamas, but it's not. I got it in a size 12, thinking I wanted it to be quite flowy. You'll see what I mean when you when I put a picture of the uh, model picture on the website up. But I thought, oh, okay, this might come up a little bit tight around my hips and, you know, my bum area. So I'll, I'll get a 12 to be safe. But, but it's just too big, you know, so I can definitely get away with a 10. This is the thing when you have a shape like me, you just can never get it right. It just really does depend on the style and just how it's made. Basically, it's just a really soft, um, all-in-one, like, play suit kind of um, outfit. And it's got buttons, so buttons that go halfway down here. The, the way it looks on me, because it's so big, it does look stupid and I wouldn't wear it out like this. I'd have to get a size 10 for it to look like acceptable to wear out. Okay, so this is what the bottom looks like. So, you know what I mean? Like, look how roomy this is. So I can definitely, definitely get away with a 10. My memory card just ran out of space. So I think I was just saying that it's really comfy, cosy. It might be a little bit warm for the summer, but it's definitely a perfect loungewear piece. So if you want to just some, something to lounge around in in the warmer months, then I would recommend. I'm definitely going to reorder this in a size 10 though. So weird how it comes up so baggy, isn't it? I mean, look, it just looks stupid, doesn't it? <laughs> Okay, so this next item is a bodysuit. When you see on the picture, you'll see how it's supposed to look, but I took a risk order in this because I thought, because my arms are quite chunky, I don't think the things are gonna fit. Like, it's not gonna sit on my arms very well. And I was correct, it was nearly cutting off my blood circulation. So I thought, hmm, how can I make this work? So because obviously the arms are attached like that, I just took my arms out and I tied the arms, here are the arms, back. So let's just forget that they're there. And I paired it with these linen trousers that I picked up from H&M in my last H&M haul. And I thought it looked really good. I mean, I must admit, I probably wouldn't wear it in the UK. This is definitely like an abroad outfit for me personally. 
but I mean you could wear this bodysuit with anything you could wear it with jeans leather trousers shorts you could you could pair it with anything but I just thought oh let me try these linen trousers and see how it looks and I actually quite like it I really love the um, pattern of these style tops I mean they don't they come in tops as well um, not just bodysuits but I really love the pattern and it's this it's kind of like a sheer material and obviously it's got lining underneath it but the, there's like a netting sheer over the top and this is what the bodysuit looks like so it's kind of like ruffled so if you wasn't to wear high-waisted trousers then this is what you would see so it's really really nice right I don't know how these girls can buy leggings and not have their nuni outline on show whilst wearing them because these leggings you can literally see everything how do they do it i i just don't i don't know i don't get it i think the model was actually wearing hers with a shirt over the top which is i think where i got the idea from because then that covers the booty which is definitely see-through because you can see my knickers through it so yeah i just feel like you can just see everything it's just the not it's just they're just not flattering on me at all i don't i don't like it i feel too bare but they do fit nice in the leg like they do like they're nice and tight and i like the color of them as well and they're like a ribbed kind of style but yeah um yeah no no for me next up i picked up a maxi cardigan because i want to get some more cardigans this year because i think they're nice to just chuck over tops like this if you just want to cover your arms or something now they only had this in a large and i really wanted this color so i thought let me just order it i know it's going to be too big but i just wanted to see what it was like in person so i will be reordering but i don't know whether to get a medium or a small because I mean, look how baggy. I know the arms are supposed to be quite kind of balloony baggy anyway, but I don't know. Would I be able to get away with a small? I mean, I know I like my cardigans to be quite baggy and oversized, but I'm not too sure. Perhaps I'll go for a medium and see what's, what, that's, what that's like. You'll see when I do the mirror clip, how long it is it is right down to my ankles pretty much so it's a very very long cardigan but i absolutely love the color of it these are the sleeves so very balloony but yeah i really like them i think they're just nice like i said to chuck over something i'm obsessed with beige at the moment so i had to get it in a beige but they do loads of different colors white black cream i also picked up some sandals which i'm going to show you quickly so the first pair of sandals or sliders I got were these now they're not going to be to everyone's taste I know they are a kind of dupe style of the Yeezy sliders I believe they're kind of like a foam you know they're very like squishy foamy kind of style slider um at first when people started wearing them I wasn't sure and then I thought you know what let me just order a pair and see what they look like and they're actually really comfy they're more of like a casual slider so if you're wearing joggers for example you can chuck on some socks and just rock these not going to be so fun's taste i'm fully aware but i quite like them i wore them to the hairdressers the other day and they were very comfy but i did trip up nearly about five times in my apartment whilst i was walking around because i don't know the the front bit kept catching on the floor on the floor and i kept nearly tripping up so yeah um they are quite chunky but they're just a perfect casual slider. And then next up, I picked up these platform flip-flops. Really like these, very different for me. I think Zara do like a style like this. I've been seeing them around, or maybe ASOS. But I really, really like these. They're, they've got a bit of a platform to them, which I didn't realize when I order in, but I tried them on earlier and I really do like them. I think they're different. I've got them in a four, they fit true to size. Like my feet, I would say fit pretty much like exact. Um, you know, they're not like too big and they're not too small. They're like right on the right size. Probably would have preferred them a little bit bigger, like a little bit more room 
each end but I have got quite long toes so that probably doesn't help and lastly I picked up myself a leather jacket which I've been on the hunt for for the longest time as some of you probably know from watching my previous hauls so I thought I would go for a PLT one and see how that looked and I actually quite like it so I think I'm just going to stick with this one it's not like super thick or heavy like the others have been like the others you can tell have been quite good material whereas this one is oh my god hand stuck more on the thinner side but i kind of don't mind that so i think i'm just going to stick with this one i can't be bothered to keep you know mooching around looking for one so i'm going to stick with this one why do i keep putting my hands in my pockets and getting them stuck it's fine i got it in a 12 i believe don't know if i'd be able to wear like a hoodie underneath it it might be a little bit tight but I might be able to get away with it i just needed a leather jacket because they're so handy to just chuck on over an outfit um, and they go with pretty much everything don't they so i do think everyone needs a leather jacket in their wardrobe so that is everything i picked up from plt i really hope you enjoyed watching thank you for watching if you do want to see more from me then don't forget to subscribe and if you want to follow me over on my instagram i will leave that on screen for you as well and hopefully i will see you all in my next one